My name is Safian Farval, and today we have a very special guest, but before I introduce our special guest, I'm going to go through and introduce our crew, so our regular third, third row Tesla podcast crew. So today we have Omar Kazi, Tesla Truth. Boom. <laughs> and we have Kristen from Hi. K10. <laughs> Thank you. And we got Vincent Yu from Tesmanian. Hi. All right, great. And then we got Galileo Russell from Hyperchange. What up, third row? <laughs> and then we got Viv, for, who's uh, Falcon Heavy. Hey. Great. All right, Omar, do you want to introduce our guest? Please welcome the inventor of the car fart, Elon Musk. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> please put that on my gravestone. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. So, yeah, it's kind of crazy that we're actually all here. And um, thank you so much for doing this. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, we're all Tesla customers, fans, and... It's really good that it's finally happening. And I remember um, that I was looking at your Wikipedia tweet. Um, that it's like this bizarre, fictionalized version of reality. Yeah. And uh, I replied to him, "Wait, why don't you come on a podcast and like tell your fictionalized version of reality?" Sure, exactly. <laughs> I tell my fictionalized version. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and um, you replied, "Okay, sure." And I was kind of like taken by surprise by that. And um, you know the way you engage and listen to your customers online. Yeah. It's like. I've never seen anything like that from, you know, CEO of a public company or sure. any executive. So can you tell us a little bit where that came from, why you communicate directly instead of like having this PR strategy that most companies have? Sure. Um, <laughs> well, I mean, it started out, I actually had one of the very, very first Twitter accounts, like when it was like less than 10,000 uh, people. And, I th and, and then everyone was tweeting at me, like, what kind of latte they had at Starbucks. <laughs> and I'm like, well, this seems like the silliest thing ever. <laughs> so I deleted my Twitter account, and then <clears throat> uh, someone else took it over and started tweeting in my name. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and, and then a couple of uh, friends of mine, um, well, Lee and Jason Calacana said, they both said, hey, you should really use Twitter to get your message out um, and also some somebody's tweeting in your name and they're saying crazy things so I was like, I'll say crazy things in my name <laughs> did you have to pay them no no they they they, they um, I, I'm not sure who it was but it was for some reason I, I don't know I got my account back great and um, and, and then I was just I don't know it, it, some degree it's like uh, just sort of I just started tweeting for fun really and my, my early tweets were quite crazy uh, as I was trying to explain, like it has the arc of insanity is is short uh, in that it's not very steep because it started off insane, <laughs> and so if it's still insane, it's you know it hasn't changed that much. Um, so um, yeah, and, and I don't know. It, it seemed it seemed kind of fun to. You know, as I think I've said this before, it's like, you know, some people use their hair to express myself, I use Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you like Twitter so much? I mean, you could use Instagram, As opposed for example, to other but, platforms. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, well, like, I don't trust Facebook, obviously, you know, and... and <laughs> And then Instagram is is fine, but it's I, I think not exactly my 